Hello everyone, welcome back to Byte Vigor. In software development, sometimes we need to create an object and quickly make multiple copies of it. The prototype design pattern provides a solution by allowing us to create new objects by copying existing ones, thus simplifying the object creation process. Imagine you are an artist who has just finished a painting. Now, many people want a copy of this painting, but it is obviously not practical to repaint it each time. In this case, we can use a copier to quickly generate multiple copies of the painting. This is a real-life analogy for the prototype pattern. In simple terms, the prototype pattern allows you to create new objects by copying existing ones, without having to recreate every detail of the object. It is very useful when you need a large number of similar objects. According to Wikipedia, the prototype pattern is a creational design pattern that aims to create new objects by copying existing instances, thus avoiding the complexity or time-consuming operations of creating objects from scratch. So why should we use the prototype design pattern? There are several benefits. 1. Performance improvement. In some cases, copying an existing object is much faster than creating a new one. Especially when the initialization process is very complex, the prototype pattern can significantly improve performance. 2. Simplified object creation. Some objects may have many complex states and configurations, making manual creation cumbersome. With the prototype pattern, you only need to copy an existing object to easily create new ones. 3. Dynamic typing. The prototype pattern does not rely on specific classes, allowing you to dynamically create and configure new objects at runtime without modifying existing code. To better understand this pattern, let's use a simple shape class example to implement the prototype design pattern in Java. First, we define an abstract shape class with a clone method for cloning objects. This method implements the clonable interface and calls super.clone in the clone method, creating a copy of the current object. Here we assume that creating specific shapes is a complex and time-consuming operation, but by cloning, we can quickly replicate an object and improve creation performance. Next, we define concrete shape classes, such as circle and square, which extend the shape class and implement their own draw methods. Then, we create a shape cache class to cache different types of shape objects and provide a get shape method to get a copy of an object by its ID. The shape cache class uses a hash table to cache shape objects. In the load cache method, we create circle and square objects and cache them. Through the get shape method, we can find the corresponding prototype object in the cache by its ID and clone it to get a copy of the shape. Finally, we use the shape cache class in the main method to get copies of shape objects. Here, we first call the shape cache.load cache method to preload the shape cache, which might be time consuming but is a one time operation. Then, we use the shape cache.get shape method to get clones of shape objects and print their types. The get shape method leverages caching and cloning making it very fast regardless of how many times it is called. So, when should we use the prototype design pattern? When the cost of creating an object is high or the process is complex, and we need to quickly generate multiple copies of the object, we can use the prototype pattern. The prototype pattern creates new objects by copying existing instances, thus avoiding the overhead of repeatedly initializing objects. To summarize, the prototype design pattern makes the object creation process more efficient and flexible by copying existing objects. In actual development, the prototype pattern can help us quickly generate multiple copies of objects, improving the performance and maintainability of our code. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found this video helpful, remember to like and subscribe to Byte Vigor so you won't miss more exciting content in the future. See you in the next video.